Hello, 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 Sunny Bon Nani, Sunny Bon Nani. Welcome back. Tenji Way Comedy. We are back. We are live again. Another day. We are still on lockdown. Things are getting better. Utua and I say, Koleni, it's getting better because the teachers are expected to go back to school on Monday. Uh, children are expected to go back on uh, the 1st of June. If you are a scholar or a parent or a teacher, please let us know what you what you think about that because we did have a conversation on uh, two days ago. Was it yesterday? And I, it got hit head because some people are still thinking we are not yet ready to go back uh, to schools. So let me know, Mina, as a parent, uh, my child is going to be on sick leave until I see what is really happening and how safe it is. Because, I, guys, this new normal is not good for anyone. Uh, are you back at work? How are things? Are people behaving? Are people doing what they're supposed to be doing at your workplace? And uh, there is a top story of a school in KZN where apparently they use somebody's land to build the school. And the person has been, or the family rather, has been trying to get them to move from their land and the school decided not to move. So when they went, they saw this. The person said, my father was buried here. So I am going to erect his tombstone here inside a classroom. Would you let your child go back to this classroom when and now? But more than anything, I some of our schools, especially men are coming from rural KZN, I know the situation there. How are you going to sanitize a school that still doesn't have sanitary sanitation, a school that doesn't have water? I, we don't know. Maybe this is how children should show up at school to make sure that they are safe. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful show today. I'm really, really excited about it. A very good uh, friend of mine, my Benton, my fellow love technician, very, very good and creative guy. I, I love him. He knows this. If we were not locked down, we would have been shooting something right now. Uh, let me bring him on. Please welcome him. Do me. Stop nonsense. AKA. <laughs> How are hey, you? Hey. How's he? Yeah, I think I am. I'm just being comfortable and making the most with, you know, uh, now with, with this lockdown thing, like I've always said now, this is just a good opportunity for us to actually bond with our bonds. You know what I'm saying? This is my Talama bond and us not a bond with them now. I'm trying by all means to feel that luxury, like but we hotel as we are, when we are kicking. <laughs> you know, to me, you touched a very important point. I was telling a friend of mine, saying, we're going to... Okay, I think I lost you. I'm losing you somewhere. But you understand. Hello, I'm not. I think I I lost you. Um. <clears throat> Hello, Matanj, Matanj, Tanj, Tanj. Okay, I don't know, guys. I seem to have lost her. Just be. Stop nonsense. Yes, I think we are back. Yes, we are back. We are back. Thank you so much. Uh, right. Yeah, I was saying, but yes, people are now able to go back and uh, to stay in their mentions any other rooms that they never enter because otherwise yeah. these rooms are enjoyed by all and true true who and you know each and every room when you leave at 5 a.m you come back at 7 or 8 p.m you are tired you go to your bathroom you go shower or bath and you you go and sleep 
and, and now it. it's worse scary with those who who let all and go at the beginning of lockdown thinking it was going to be three weeks two weeks now they have to yeah. do that Aish. oh tisha yeah. oh, auntie they deserve a raise you now you know what it's like to clean that big house of yours now you know yeah. what you have in three <laughs> it's a hotel now now we know Aish, how are you my friend? pardon how are you doing uh, i i think i've sort of like adjusted mentally Mm. uh I've, I've i've adjusted also uh financially i think uh i know i know now what's important and what's not important uh i think more than anything this lockdown is just a a, a big reset button for everyone you know what i'm saying if 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 there's one thing that everyone should come out here as it should be a better product mm. Yeah. And when uh, you are such um you 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 are always busy and you are a big shopper. I'm sure during the lockdown, if we were not on lockdown, you have you would have bought two other cars. How are you surviving without the shopping? Oh it's 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 bad. The funny thing is yesterday so I was I was driving <laughs> with a friend of mine, like lento eating monitor, like it doesn't go away. Like I will literally as we were driving, I just literally stopped at some car dealership. I just went in for just to clear my mind. And, you know, I just stopped there. And I pay him out. I'm like, oh, after lockdown, you are next. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I mean, it's, I, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, but it's worth it. I, I'll, I'll say it's, it's actually worth it because now my finances are better. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm now investing also in certain important things than what I would normally, you know, knowing booty, oh, my bread tomorrow is guaranteed, so it's fine. I imagine you are a, you are, actually, you are a bad shopper. Udumi, you really? go with, <laughs> I travel with you a lot for work. Yeah. You get to the airport, Udumi has one small suitcase or a backpack. I'm like, hey, I wish I was a guy. <laughs> you come back on your, on, on your way back, or before when you get to the hotel, Udumi will disappear as if he's going to the toilet. He'll be like, I have on my nose. You come back, Udumi has a suitcase, a designer suitcase, <laughs> full of new clothes, and you're like, Udumi. Yeah, I'm so bad with it. I think you no, are hot. Yes, no, you know, and, and, and to my defense, um everything everything is always budgeted like even before i take any travel or whatever like i would know which okay this is my budget um i mean pe people just tend to prioritize in different ways some people you know on 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 their on their way to somewhere as they're traveling they'll rather spend ex a huge amount on alcohol and all these other things i never pe i personally never get time to go and do shopping mm. yeah i understand for clothing and and whatnot, but man, when, when I know it, okay, that day is dedicated to traveling. That's when I get to actually do my shopping because I I don't like malls. Number one, I I hardly ever go to malls. When I go to a mall, and I you must know which I was pushed to go to the mall. Um, so I don't have that time waiting. I, I'll move from one store to the other, and whatever. But when I'm on the road with y'all, I know ah. I just see something and then I get second opinion and then it is so so diamond. Yeah, that's nice. You can get that. You know, even before buying, I'll always ask you when I'm like, mm. hey, I just saw this. Do you think it looks good on me? And you're like, yeah, no, you can get it. And then I'll go and get it. I know you do a lot of jobs and uh, you, you are an actor and you are a comedian. Those are your main hustles. As much as you have other businesses on, on the side, which we'll get into. Yeah. But your main thing is being a stand-up comedian, being an actor. Yeah. How has lockdown affected those two jobs? Oh, it's it is it is it is. I'll start by answering that from and the whole industry's perspective, right? It has it has changed <laughs> how we see things. You know what I'm saying? It has it is, it has removed that celebrity status from a lot of people. Uh, people now understand that it is much more important to be a business or 
to be to be to be uh to be in business not to be a business or to be in business in in in, in alliance to your craft you know what i'm saying uh a lot of people now I've, I've 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 realized they are now starting to take what we well most of us uh that were so stubborn about being socially active uh they've started to take it into consideration now they're trying to look for ways now they they only now starting to to think of building online presence now you know what i'm saying because now money wise the cancellation of gigs has hit us so bad i had i had my i had my birthday show uh picnic you remember that i told you about that was supposed to happen on the 28th and the 29th uh Ilento, of, of march i had spent so much you know what i'm saying there was all the messed up part is that even the billboard it's not yet removed so every time i drive out to go buy bread it's just here on the freeway so every time i go and buy essentials then i'll see <laughs> the gig that was supposed to happen you know what i'm saying i had invested a lot you know i had and even it and even other artists that i had booked you know it was for them it would have given them a, a sense of leverage financially you know what i'm saying but now we had to cancel uh my tour was supposed to kick off this year none of that is happening oh it's 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 devastating it's it's worrying but i'm i'm always glad and appreciated i mean i'm appreciative towards uh the gift of life you know what i'm saying the fact that i'm alive and at least with the little that i can still make now uh i'm able to still provide for my family you know i i wish i could go an extra mile of helping even other people you know what i'm saying but long corner corner i can help out you know so yeah man oh, it's, it's 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 difficult and the, my biggest fear is just not knowing where your next bread comes from you know when we, when it comes to that it was fine i thought it would be fine when it was three weeks mm -hmm. i knew uh, in terms of uh stand-up comedy we were gonna it was gonna be a long-term thing because even yes. after uh, things slow down people will still wanna social distance because people will still not wanna be cramped in in one room just laughing at you but like yeah, yeah, yeah. you they can speak i knew would say stand up comedy was affected. but number one i didn't know this thing was going to take this long mm -hmm. number two i didn't know that all other uh, it's it, like it's a crumbling effect because it's a domino effect because i had to say that we are losing a uh, six million job potentially in south africa so that's yes. affecting me because even now we're getting less views on social media because people yeah. cannot afford the data mm -hmm. uh, people are now more worried that it's no longer oh i'm, I'm home i'm gonna stay on social media so yeah. it's affecting now other businesses like the things we do on social media companies mm. that usually advertise with us on social media like youtube they're not advertising because their business is affected. So mm -hmm. it, 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 instead of getting better, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And some companies are not going to come back after lockdown. And which means those employees can no longer afford to buy a ticket to come and sit up nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's, 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 it's very tough. I, I'm, I for one, managing as why, well, shop right as my type like my it is money income like no pop thing i get you man who has omega they've got they've got their their essential workers and it much what are they getting they're getting some they're getting paid they get and paid. the best part is that also what what, what you mentioned is it's, it's very important it? and I, I even if the lockdown is lifted, you know, we we still have a year to make up for us as entertainers. Number one, mm -hmm. you know, understand because even beyond that, like what you said, will people will people really have money to spend on 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 on? And also psychologically, the the yes. has been instilled in people. Like I was I was going walking around in town today. Uh, I'm hardly ever going out. For the last three weeks, it was my second day going out into my local town center. Scary. Yeah. Like you see someone you know, 
you haven't seen them in a long time so automatically you want to be happy and and then you have to stop yourselves from hugging yeah. or and it, it it it's just so so weird in the shops you see someone standing at the end of the aisle waiting for you to finish before they can enter the aisle because everyone yeah. is so scared and what i found because i find the mask so uncomfortable i can't breathe properly it's itchy yeah. it's all problems for me and then i was so happy because i saw less and less people are wearing the mask and i was asking the lady at the till when i was paying why are you guys not wearing masks aren't you supposed to be wearing a, a mask and gloves they said no we, we it's eight hours we told them we are tired we cannot kill ourselves with the mask because you can't breathe properly it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. and the, she, she gave me all sorts of reasons and i understood do you think uh, uh, with children going back to school are they going to be able to wear masks for the whole school day if you as an adult cannot even withstand that as i also jump at an opportunity la, to just put it away you know what i'm saying that's why i i, I prefer even traveling alone um I feel like when I'm driving and I'm alone in the car, that's the only chance that I can actually, or unless I'm in the house, mm. where I can actually breathe. Because we, we no one knows what this demon is, actually. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We'd, yes, well, what, we could x-ray it. I'd be <laughs> I'd probably be happy with that. Because now, you look at you look at even now, um, I was being shaky uh, the last footage when we had we had a big show before the lockdown with Uma Shabela. She's comedy mm -hmm. under under the sun. Do you know many people attended that event? And and we, none of us know who would see uh was there was there anyone or infected Nana? It was like two weeks before the lockdown. Hey, the lockdown doesn't say that. Oh well, that's the, when 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 the lockdown kicked. It doesn't say which. That's when the case was was. I mean, that's when a, a Corona arrived in our country. No, it has always been there, but the lockdown was just there to actually put in certain measures into place. So I'm like, come on, if one person and they put around twenty five comedians, we had like Listen. around twenty five comedians that were on on the lineup. Ne? If and one comedian had so and left it on the mic. I you think from now that's on, that's everyone that's... Gonna bring their own mic. From now on, everyone, and we always complain, would I, we know what if you go after so and so, the mic is gonna be smelly because some people have a problem with the, in the best share we mic. But now with Corona, I think we, we, it's not gonna be a joke. We're gonna be serious about getting our own mics. I, 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 make it I, more I difficult. Now they must, uh, each time someone goes, it's gonna interfere with the flow of the show. Yeah. So let me tell you something. So I I remember at some point, right? And I still have my mic where I wanted that, but and entirely because mm, hygiene. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you you grab a mic from <coughs> sorry from one comedian, and then now in mic, it's wet in a young you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I've lost you somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I'm here. Kuluma, when? Kuluma. I'm here. I'm listening. I just want to see you. Oh, the okay. Whole oh, okay. Okay. So, welcome. Welcome. Let me welcome you back to your show. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I, I've always had the problem with that. Like, having to, to, to go after another comedian and you find the mic. Imanzi, you know being sp spread it on and, and and all these things and i'm like I, I tried a couple of shows bringing my own mic and i was told no you are being a diva no you are just being dramatic we have to start to and I, and and mind you i would come early so that i can prepare so that the mic can be on by the time i go on stage but none of that has ever materialized but i i, I wish now and i hope that now it's hygiene even way beyond the corona or, or way beyond the, the pandemic, hygiene will be considered. Do you know what I'm saying? Sanitizers mm. have always been there, but now you are shocked that to people now, it's like a new product. You know what I'm saying? We are always advised to wash our hands. We are always advised to, when you cough, you know, place a hand over your mouth. And now it's it, it has gotten to an extent. You would now 
well maybe now it looks cooler the fact that <laughs> you can shop at the piano chive while you're coughing it's yeah crazy. It, it, it is crazy uh, do you think when lockdown ends are you gonna look for another job or are you gonna go back uh, and wait for stand-up comedy to pick up again my 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 happiness my peace my sanity won't allow me to 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 do a nine to five. I mean, mind you, I'm a I'm a qualified an international uh, IT software developer, but I I love doing I love doing it on my spare time, programming things and building robots. Even now during the lockdown, I bought a couple of robot pieces that I need to uh, assemble and program. You know, but yeah, like I don't see myself honestly uh doing a nine to five and that's because of the main reason why i avoided going to my you i've never worked anywhere like straight after school then i started stand-up comedy you know mm. so i don't think i'll ever 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 go for a nine to five although it would be fun it's not it's not a pride thing like i was telling uh david Gao this other time i'm like like if push comes to shove, I would do. Um, I would. I would be a packer. I would be a cashier at shop, right? I would be one, two, three, and and in the process, yes, I know I'll be gathering content. You know what I'm saying? I'd yeah. be having a time of my life, but obviously, with the fact that you have built a certain brand around your name and this and that, not 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 even it's not even a concern. You would see how well my followers take this how would anyone else take this but it's merely the fact that i don't think i'm at a point whereby i would have peace being in that space number one i, I don't get peace just going to oh, check us or wherever to go by you meet people that want to engage that want to do that imagine how irritating that would be instead of me asking you a plastic now i need to share a joke because you hey. realize or recognize the face and 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 and, and you know what i'm saying but yes. I would do it. I would do it. But for my peace sake, I wouldn't. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And then, hey, look, who's I like? <laughs> you, you, you are talking about not being able to do those jobs. What if stand-up comedy is a dead profession? It doesn't come back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that. I, w I would just have to honestly give much more attention to my other, other businesses right and 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 do it like i've been doing it for as a as a as a as a hobby you know uh, because a part of it like what i do with jumaima most of the time is just a hobby where i'm just giving out content not because i'm relying on that like i haven't even monetized i've seen i've seen on my channel how much adsense has told me that i have but mm. i've never actually cashed it in or did anything i'm just doing giving out content because my my main focus in in this whole comedy thing it's also the the business side of things you know what i'm saying if i've got corporates that are buying into what i say day in day out then for me which it cuts out a bigger slice of the cake for me you know what i'm saying so i'm much more comfortable with that you know so i just continue doing giving content i love doing that you know i love just waking up and having yeah. a comment around whatever that's happening I enjoy that. So I'd still do it for my own sanity and then I'll focus on my other businesses. Uh, what businesses? Let's get to that. What else do you do? Because people just see this uh, small boy who does comedy, small boy who's very funny, but they don't know the serious side of you. They don't know that I will stop nonsense. Does stop nonsense even in the boardroom. Yeah. Please okay about that. So, what did you do? So beyond beyond comedy, uh, I've got three other businesses that I run. Right. Uh, the fourth one, which I'm venturing into now, now, uh, which is a, a panel beating. You know, I'm a huge, I'm a petrol head. I'm a huge lover of cars, and 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 and. So I've success. I've been successfully uh, like buying cars, uh, like old school cars, right? So I just take an old school car, revamp it, give it a new look. And then put it up for sale. Well, most of the time I just keep them for myself, but I saw a niche, like there's a gap in the in the in the market whereby I can actually do that and actually sell them for three or four times the, the, the actual cost. You know what I'm saying? 
So that is one thing that I'm now focusing on, which is having a spare shop and um, panel beating, you know, building up cars from scratch. And then uh, the ongoing businesses are, I have got a laundromat, people don't know that. I've got a laundromat uh, in North Riding Side. Uh, that's where we deal with your clothes, your carpets, all these things, <clears throat> and also tailoring. Uh, and then also, I was I was still also now just I was just waiting for on the licensing, the food licensing and the alcohol licensing. Uh, there's a lounge called Garden Lifestyle Lounge that I've opened in the Val. Um, <clears throat> now it was supposed to actually launch uh, around March. So yeah, because of these thing delays and whatever, it hasn't. But it's it's waiting. It's waiting, so I hope people will be able to afford food and alcohol after that. And yes, comedy, I think I'll be doing most of my comedy in that place because it's so comedy friendly. I've built a stage strictly for comedy. It's, it's something that has just kept undercover. I'm like, you know what, when I launch, I'm just going big and people will know that, hey, the boy hasn't been sleeping. And then finally, it's it's business consultancy. That's what I do, you know. I provide, I sell ideas to companies and, but that is also aligned with comedy because I just bring in humor with whatever that the company is trying to achieve. And I help them to reach a broader market through laughter. So I've got a couple of clients, I've got old mutual, um, the contracts are still alive. I still have, I have MTN also, um, who I'm doing, um, I even under lockdown, at least there's a couple of gigs that I'm doing for them. And uh, what's this? Rainwater. So I, 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 I more, than, more than just stage time, I am much more vested in the business side of things. Uh, but I, I try by all means that everything that I do incorporates and builds towards the comedy side of things. You know what I'm saying? It makes my comedy life easy. My mic has been mute. I I, I, okay. I know you are very happy because I know you, you are obsessed with cars. So when you started uh, pimping other people's cars and at least monetizing that obsession and skill of yours, and I think it's also mm -hmm. saving you a lot of money. Because instead of always pimping your own cars, you can always uh, pimp other people's uh, cars. Mm. Uh, so there are many... I don't know if you're going to find this controversial, but I need your honest answer. Mm. A lot of our peers yeah. are already complaining uh, that they are broke already, that uh, some even saying they are now relying on their parents' pension money. Uh, mm. So lockdown has really destroyed financially a lot of the people in the industry we are in. Yeah. Why do you think that has happened? Because it's only been one month that people didn't get paid. If I remember correctly, South Africa was locked down uh, towards the end of March, 27 March. Yeah. So people who worked in March were paid. And then <clears throat> April, people didn't get paid. Some people, some people got paid, some people got paid half. But as freelancers, if you didn't work, obviously you didn't get paid. We yeah. all have. May is not even finished yet. Sang in Zega no Mayin, anything can still happen. Okay. So what do you think causes our peers to be so broke? And also, what advice can you give us? Uh look, number one, and, and when you when you when you're speaking of peers, let me just to get that correct. Uh you speaking in terms of uh, like our wait, let um, me there's a question I need to I need to answer from Ulin Dozulu. Please. Unfortunately, who oh, stop nonsense is loved by everyone from everywhere. People will kill me if I brought him on and they couldn't understand what he was saying. Do please forgive me. Yeah, so I saw also in, in the comments there there was uh, a white lady there that so I'm like, mm. but anyways, okay, um, it's it's fine. So it. When you walk with my peers now, you're talking as like our fellow comedians, or do we go as, as... 
everyone in the in, in the entertainment industry, everyone in okay. show business. Okay. And and, 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 and and I'll just say it from the freelancer uh, point of view, right? Uh, you see, the, pro the problem is with, with South African artists. Uh, we, are, we are too much of artists than we should be in business, number one. We leave hand to mouth. We are much more concerned about how I appear dressing, how I, what, 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 what sort of brands that I'm wearing. Uh, I'd say this even in comedy, I've, I've seen comedians that invest in sneakers, like crazy sneakers, like I bought this sneaker for like eight grand, right? And you look at their lifestyle. Number hey, one. I know people are better about the are 20,000, but I see collab. We've got that. I mean, it's it's okay to reward yourself. It's never, I'm one person that rewards himself. Like, I don't hold back. I reward myself gratefully so. Uh, but you gauge, you need to understand yourself. Would you? where you come from and where Stop Nonsense comes from as two different things or the ex, the, the, the other comedian or to be happy. You, you cannot want to measure yourself with them. And you look at the amount of work that they put in and what you are putting in. It does not make sense for you to live that type of lifestyle. You get what I'm saying? Find, you find artists that go to, to perform at a gig to have an after party. Do you get what I'm saying? So a comedian will get paid X amount of money that they already have plans for to blow up after the gig. Like but when you left home, you left home to your sevens. What are you bringing home? Number one, hang it. Number two, we don't have financial advisory that we need. The necessary one. You understand? We've got people that are advising us to spend, but we don't have anyone that is saying, this is what you need to save. This is how much you need to save. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how small the gig is. Even if you get paid a thousand rand, if you had to put away 300 rands on the side, Nam Shanji, we would be speaking something. For the next two months, you've got bread. You can afford to buy bread for the next three months every week do you get what i'm saying but we never saw it on that scale you're like ah but i'm just i'm just booked here to perform for because it, it seems like easy money but easy come easy go don't forget that because when you are going to do your gig you are there for like 15 minutes and then you are getting paid 10,000 rand you're like okay wow well, i might make another 10,000 rand before the week ends and whatever it is but you are forgetting what now your attitude towards that money is the main reason why today you're broke or you don't have anything. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we all we all want to be, we all want to appear as if we are winning. Yes, we want to, but once the question that you need to ask yourself is, are you are you seriously winning? You know what I'm saying? Or you're just winning. Come way to you know what I'm saying. We live, we live, we live lifestyles that we cannot afford. The, 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 you know, I always say this to people. I'm like, once you are, you need to apply for something, then you must know you don't afford it. If you're gonna go and get a car and you need to apply and wait for the bank to approve you, then you don't afford it. Yes, the bank is saying, they're saying, listen. Uh, you are insulting us with your uh, with your pay slip and whatever, but you know what? We'll make a plan so that you can go deeper into debt. You know what I'm saying? So we are we are more much more faced with that. People, we want you want a car, but wh why do you really want a car? Is it is it going to make your 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 comedy traveling or your artist life easy? I've seen. I mean, I've 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 I've, I've I know you could have bought a car like way back, way back. 
like if you wanted a car, you probably have 11,000 cars, but you chose not to. And I've always asked you why. And you said, but you don't see the need because if you've got your app, you don't, you, you, you want to, you want to relax before a gig. Those are your reasonings. You want to relax before a gig. You don't want to be irritated by these things that, that also throw us off our scripts, Tina. Like you were driving now, someone who drive to Otipamwako. Now you are angry. Now it spoils your mood. Now there's traffic. Now there's this and that. You just go to your app. You log in. You request. You are driven at your own terms. You don't have to spend energy doing anything. You just relax. And when you get on stage, you are fresh. For me, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Now, I want to have a car, right? Cool. It makes sense. To me, wants a car. Why? He wants to travel from point A to point B or from one gig. He, he does an average of three gigs, maybe a night, right? For those cases, I want to Utimguazu driver from one to three. That's a valid point. But now, then you find a stop nonsense that still says, but I can't be seen rocking up in a Yaris. I can't be seen rocking up in a Renault Clio. Yeah, man, people must see Mangen and she, you know, I need to rock up in a motor in his tunes. For your image, we'll give you credit on that. But can you really, 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 if if your range is you are making 40,000 rands a month, do you really, really, really afford to drive a car that is insurance, everything, after everything, Jay, that is that costs you around 20,000, 50% of what you're making. It does not make sense. You know what I'm saying? So we also we also have this, as this ideological myth. You could see we need to we need to validate ourselves with what we own. We need to validate ourselves with Nothing uh, affiliation. What yes, yes, one band and one band. I understand hanging around Umharim and hanging around Casper Nyovest, those are two different price tags. If if Casper Nyovest can buy four champagnes, you are at least expected to buy two to contribute. But if you are chilled with Umharim, we are having the same type of if you know what I'm saying, you know. The expenses are not the same. I don't have to live up. I mean, live up to certain standards. We understand. So it's it's that it's it's just things that added that Tina since she did good as in I'll never be seen in one two three. But and I've seen legends. I've worked on certain productions whereby they are legends. Umutakon not good to run a motor in, but they are comfortable with kibeli takes. And honestly, when you look at you being in a taxi. Imagine how stories, how, my, how many stories that you would have as an artist to share on stage. Just your experiences, you know, day in, day out. But no, you want to be in that car where you're just listening to the engine. But yes, you're going to tell us about the engine up until how long? Me. That is so true. Because so often I go uh, to a gig and I take my Uber. And when I get there, my set is based on my experience with my Uber driver. Yeah, yeah. It is so true. And sometimes they become your news source because things that were happening during that day or things that are happening in Tembisa, you don't even live in Tembisa. And there he is telling you what's happening, so and so did this. And you're like, okay, I've got new stories. Sometimes they, you, you sit in the car and you see a newspaper that you don't normally buy. Like you wouldn't yeah. buy it's one or Daily Sun, but it's there in the car. Pick it up, you read, and you've learned something new. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I think we need, we really need a financial advice. That's why I mean, I'm getting a, an, a, an investment a banker for my 350 rand less for Tola from the government because yeah. I don't want to, be, I don't want to be like footballers and, and artists. I, I, I want to make sure that I use it correctly, I use it right, I do not overspend. Yeah. It's very, very important to me. It's very, yeah. very important. Utu was a You're such a good listener. Thank you so much. It's when when somebody's making sense. 
Uh, it's, it's very important. I think your points are very valid, guys. We must stop worrying. And also, uh, the people, if someone is considered a celebrity, let us support them for their talent, not for what they can afford or what they have. But we do not have Hollywood budget. And it is oh. so to someone knowing, Guti, like we've seen Guma Awards. People will receive an award not even knowing where they're going to put tonight, let alone go to where they're going to put the award. Mm, mm, uh, that's true. People receive award not knowing how they're going to get back home. Yes. We, we, we don't need the unnecessary pressure that is not there. That is, mm. you know. Sometimes people take rent money. That's why I mean, when I do events and launches, I always say traditional outfit, traditional outfit, so that I don't put people under pressure and I don't put myself under pressure. Because I'm always like, I, it's so sad to see someone dressed in an outfit that's more expensive than what they were paid for the project. Yeah, yeah. Come and launch the project. I was, I was, I was shocked. I had a gig uh, before, before I went on holiday, I think on... But it was in December, right? And I was doing a gig in the Eastern Cape. I've never so I've never felt so bad, honestly, with being Emma Cams. As if we never grew up wanting to wear Emma Cam. Do you know what I'm saying? I I went to I went to I went to what you call I went to Emma Cam and then this lady, she the question is not good to wow. We are Africa now, Eastern Cape. Or her question was, "How? God, now we are Tengala." It's like, and I'm like, guys, I wear, I wear Mr. Price. I wear. If it looks good on me, I'm chilled. Yes, I've got my designer clothes. I've got whatever, but those are the ones that I just reward myself with. With it. Yes, I've had a hectic year. I've had sometimes it's not even the fact of putting the money to spend, but it's it's therapeutic to me to say yes. But actually, this is one thing that I've never ever thought I'd ever own. But let me have it. You know what I'm saying? Because now I feel like it will make me happy at that time. As Mutamuguza, your question, I felt so bad. And I'm like, but so now that I've built. A name. It doesn't mean good to have built an account. You know, my my financials, my 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 financial status is on, or whatever level. But the fact that now I've built a name. Well, it's good to also you are able to build a name that is bigger than your account. That creates so much expectations to people, and 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 and. You know what I'm saying? I've never I've never been faced with that. I don't have to actually explain myself or whatever. But my humor comes from rags to riches you know what i'm saying that's where i find i find humor but it doesn't that's how many times have i ever said oh yes no i'm selling a moto i just rocked up in my range rover have i ever owned a, a range rover no <laughs> i've never i've had other makes but i've never i've never even the cars that i'll talk about it's not my dad i don't care whether i'm parking a beast outside or i just came with an ordinary car but i'll just say it because People find find it cheesy and right? they find it very funny. Under the closer good, this is You know what I'm saying? That's entirely why I do that. But don't make me feel bad for driving a Yaris and you saw me in a Yaris. You know what I'm saying? Or you saw me in an Atios. For the longest of time, there was a time where I was driving an Atios, by the way. And you know, people just at the robots, you know how people take these things serious that they hear on stage. <laughs> but how? So seven of our Uber. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, it is what it is. But society needs to understand which as much as we say we are human, as much as or we can say that we are let's put aside the human, the human side of things. Uti, as much as we, we are we, we are being loved and appreciated for what we do, but at the end of the day, not to see not to see that we want to. I, guys, I love Mina Mina News Tandela. If you've got me on my WhatsApp, you know when I plus you have me on my WhatsApp. But we want to the drives to work as we go to the quarter. I I I cannot stand good our say restaurant. Man, say restaurant, I'll just order light. But means standard, I look good, I look good, I'm in trouble, and if it's all I get, rank, 
Nithi mina ngifu nepi kwa ocean basket. Ngifu nepi etopio zero. Inyame ntoko. I love that. Allow me to be that. And don't make me feel shitty for loving what I love or having a different taste. You know what I'm saying? I love... And at the end of the day, say a suta. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, say a suta. 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 But people will make you feel bad for being like that. Or Mama Bona would say, hey guys, we don't all, as, as a black African, you must understand, we song we've got roots, we've got where we come from. Yes, a lot of us are playing a good part or we, we, we acted out so well that it has dimmed our past. But you cannot even see beyond my talent. You you cannot see the brokenness that, that added to be the puzzle of making stop nonsense what he is today you know what i'm saying we play we paint it so beautiful but actually when you go back i've, I've visited so many artists i've spent time with a lot of artists any artists we want to do champagne champagne but they don't even have a tv in the engine i'm being i'm being realistic like i run a tv i mean i'm afraid to my the source net art and fun and writing no honestly you do need a tv you know what i'm saying there are times where you if it's not even about you you've got people that visit you you've got you know what i'm saying there are times where my conversations are tiring and you're like not, not even a tv a bed or a bedding something no. you can't even say you get angry tanned but outside when you meet them it's a different story it's it's a oh yes i'm winning and whatever but and, and it's not even about having to prove it to us, guys. It's a, my, my, my worry is, are you honest with your heart? Are you honest with your, yourself? Or would say, are you really winning? And winning doesn't have to be millions. It doesn't have to be thousands. It doesn't have to even be money. It, it's just, are you living your purpose? Are you achieving what you wake up? I believe if you wake up every morning and you don't have anything to do, you're as good as dead. You are you are, you are a walking grave, a walking corpse. Because you, every day when you wake up, I I feel like even if it's just a little thing, I would say, uh, I'm I, I need to make sure say, when I wake up, uh, I would have taken out the trash. I would have those are activities. These are goals that you've set. They might not look oh glorious and whatever, but you've got things that you've set that you wanna achieve today. Even if it's just you taking a walk, it's it's a mission that you're doing and there's going to be an end result whereby you're going to come back home and you say, okay, sharp, I've achieved one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? So we, we need to just be honest with ourselves and saying the targets or the goals that I set for myself in life. When I started this comedy, when I started this music career, when I started all, all of these things, what is it that I wanted to achieve? Am I really, really, really contributing towards winning? Yeah, ne? Let's, talking about winning, you are one of the very, very few people that I trust, uh, especially amongst my peers, uh, mm. that I trust to drive me after gigs, or especially yes. after <laughs> And that is because uh, you, you go by, yes, but you don't drink. Yeah. And I see a lot of people backstage or after a show drinking and then getting into class. What message can you give everyone who's watching today about when we get back to drinking alcohol and seeing uh, how the accidents have been reduced now during a lockdown? What message yeah. can you give them about drinking and driving, guys? Especially in this time where you can call an Uber to take you home. Uh, and just, just to put it out there, guys, uh, I do drink, but you, I put a, when I'm not going to drive. So when I mean, I'm, I mean, you don't drink and drive. You don't drink and yes. drive. Oh, yeah. I don't see uh, you getting into a car. It's, it's, a it's, I've, I've, I've had, I'll, I'll tell you this. I've had a close call, uh, last year, right. Uh, when I was driving from a gig and entirely because I was tired. You know what I'm saying? I was exhausted. Last year was you. You can you can also attest to that. It was one of my busiest years, whereby I was working, 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 working. I would have two, three, four gigs a day, 
And this other time I was driving in that very same eight years. So I, I just uh, bought it very for Uber because I started to develop this love for this Uber business and whatever. And there was a huge market um, around Rimsek. So I was driving, that car was just two weeks old. And I'm driving from a gig and I'm tired, tired, tired. I drove and I think I was just three robots, not even three robots. No, I was a robot away from actually where I stayed. I just dozed off. Like, then when I woke up, there was airbags everywhere. Um, the car was under a truck. It was, it was a mess, you know? Uh, I, I said, I, I told myself, uh, I'm, I'm about to answer your question. I said to myself, <clears throat> I don't wanna, I don't wanna drive ever, ever again uh, under, anything that might hinder me from driving and with all like with my senses lit all my senses uh up and running you know I, you know the way the way it was my first accident ever since and i almost lost my life like my like, i didn't i didn't even i didn't even bother like with it, the insurance hadn't even kicked in. Luckily, it was one of those cars that I bought cash. And when I, when I, when 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 after the accident, I just took what was valuable. I said, "Don't even, don't even, even try and call me. I'm going to come and collect the car from the storage, take it for panel beating and whatever." I said, "Guys, take this car. I don't want it because of the flashbacks that I had." It took it took a while and and it took a while for me to get over the accident mentally because every time I'd be in a car, um, if you remember very well, there was a time whereby I think for three three months, as we were also in, embarking on that campaign, I was not I was not driving at all. I was being driven throughout. I did not want to drive. I did not because I'd have flashbacks as I'm driving. Mango na imoto pangwam hitting the brakes, then I'd, I'd have like a, a panic attack. Yeah, like when kids into it, or even normal being driver. Like if I wake up and I just see lights, like I'll just wake up like, even a shock, it, it took me, I think three, four months for me to get over that incident. So one thing that, I, that I'd want to advise uh, anyone, anyone that has a habit of driving under the influence, I'd say, let go of it it's only when you when you when you when you go through it and and you see it happening because it's always it, it doesn't it doesn't hit home when it happens from a distance every day we drive and we see accidents we're like ah oh you even forget you don't even focus on accident. but up until it happens to you then you are like yay life is so precious you know I, I would have been caught. Like, you know, Nshari, a track, a track, layer, <laughs> it's one of these tracks, it's Ambisa Ugoja, but in the AMs, when I was at go and deliver, go to your supermarkets and whatever, a big truck. And then, you know, when I woke up, I'm like, but we undermine life. We undermine the gift of life by always, we, as news they are so far-fetched that we tend to be the last one. Why, do you, why can't you just drive home get home open up your bottle and drink it's less it's 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 less expensive because no more, even when you're at the club number one but the time by the time you've spent you you actually spent 1.4 on your bottle but you didn't even get to where you want to get with it you know what i'm saying you buy a bottle you put it in the car you drive home you get there you are safe there's no cops that you need to bribe. There are no accidents that you might encounter. You sleep, you can drink however you want. You pass out on your couch. There's no one that's going to take your picture. There's no one that's going to record your lousy behavior or your irresponsible behavior that you, or the monster that you become when you are drunk. You know, it's just safe. So beyond even your life, it's, 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 it's bigger than that. It's, it's someone else's life. You might 
kill someone you might hit a pedestrian you might you might kill a breadwinner you might you know it doesn't matter you might you might just encounter a lot of things don't ever 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 do that look at weigh your options and your options are if you plan on drinking request i have a problem with people that don't people that are like no i'm i have cars why should i have an appealant or guys have it for those days where even if you're not drinking for those days where you don't feel as 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 people snaps no no don't don't even bother you know i'm a biker like i'm a i'm a, I'm a fast track biker now like i i i i ride almost yes i love i love speed i love all these things in jay-z but no good has no good to keep a bike and then i'm like okay i'm gonna take a ride i'm gonna eh, just your numbers on with no don't Eish. and i listen to that like i just listen to that immediately but uh, no, don't write. I won't. If I can, and I love it so much. But almost every day, I just want to get on it. But you'll find me writing it once a week, once in two weeks, and whatnot. Because yes, my me. I would never. I would never. A lot of people in my circle that have always said, "I would never, I would never." Now they want bikes because, like, I take them on a ride, and they're like, "Ooh." It's so refreshing. It's therapeutic for me. It's yeah, therapeutic. There was a time when I wanted one, but then I'm yeah. too much of a guala. I cannot. I'm too much of a guala. Yo, and I'm even because my dad, my dad is a biker. By mm. the way. Um, so I come from a family village, but me na no go go and speed na na na. It's not something that in Kaling I mean like everyone in my house like my pillow la mati get on, and which is a it's a bad habit, but Very it's bad. within us. Like say tanda, say tanda. We we practice that. I spin obviously a like in 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 in, in well maintained play places that are actually um for oh, spinning. Allocated. Yes, we can we can you can't do that, you know. Mm. Uh, I do that safely so. Uh and 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 I take and 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 I'll always say to people that say, Ish when I have a goof and I'm like, but you don't understand what's going through my head when I'm mm. on that bike. A bike is something that ufagi helmet and you you can't you don't talk to anyone. It's you and this fast engine, right? And with every stroke that you put on the accelerator. You you are tempted on 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 pushing it further because it's 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 so nice to be on it the adrenaline right, but when I, I you know when I'm riding I, I don't even think of death I don't even think of all these other things I'm just singing, I'm singing to things that people other people are not hearing because I'm alone in that helmet you know and I just enjoy it, but I I'm always I always have, you are going to one day I'm gonna take you on. I'm <laughs> I'm, 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 no, I've thought of it. I love it, but no, I'm too scared. <laughs> I think it's cool. Go ah, and what? Did, did you really have to do that now? <laughs> <laughs> That's where the love of bike started. I yes. Remember. So, 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 uh, beyond, I never thought that I'd actually own a car before a bike. That was my first bike. You see, you see the the blue one. Yeah. And I never thought we had ever own a, a bike. I mean, a car before, before the time. bike. Because because I thought I thought I thought bikes are cheaper. Uh, only to find out it's the same as a car. Uh, Some so, even so, more 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 expensive. Some are more expensive than. Cars. Yeah, yeah. You've got you've got a bike that runs around nine hundred thousand rands. Um, they 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 differ. Um. Uh, so when I when I posted, I remember you see the, the top picture when I'm on a bicycle. And I said, and, and I remember in one of my Facebook posts, and I said, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of women, I know you guys love bikers, but this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at now. I'm a biker. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it has an engine or what, but I'm a biker. But one day, one day, I'm gonna be a biker and I'm gonna be riding my dream bike. And mm. and 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 it happened, and it happened, and how it happened, you know, the fun thing is when I when I when I started having cars, then 
I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want a bike. I don't see the need of having a bike. I mean, you've got cars now that are just as fast or close to being that fast. So I don't, I don't see a need. So it, it just so happened so randomly, not even my dad taught me how to ride a bike. Like I saw this guy riding a bike and I just stopped it and I'm like, Ooh, this is so nice. And I'm like, how do you ride a bike? Can you teach me? He's like, yeah, it's just a five minute session. I'll tell you, this is what you need to do. Like a car, do one, two, three. But I'm not going to allow you to do it with mine because you're going to fall and you're going to break my bike. So uh, when you are ready, go buy your bike and then we'll, we'll hit the road. And he just told me that, literally. And I went and I bought a bike and I got on a bike and I rode the bike. And I fell the first day. Yes, I did fall a couple of times. The bike was messed up. Then when I got the second bike and I was like, yeah, I'm never looking back now. I would never. Let's go back to the start of your career. Yeah. This is where a lot Melo Matila, also known as Do Me Stop Nonsense. Kina first born son, Zanele Matila Le Petris Mutsep. So the reason I recommend Kumuleka is because Kina Papaka, Mama got to go for it, no matter who put it before to go for a re. To Melo Manaka, Papa, how keep Petris Mutsep. And I'm born to have not had a TV now again. Then I did it at a level like Spatlos, Peter Smith, Kaipona, Lynn, Nakorka, one hour, keep a bag or there's no other way. He has to be my father, whether he likes it or not. It's my favorite thing. Yeah. No. That's like, what that's was like, going on? Tell us about uh, that video and how it changed your career. And what was going on in your mind when you decided I am shooting that one? Yo, that video changed my life. That video till date. Like, I'm not, there's, no, there's no other video in life that I can compare to that. Out of all the videos that I've put most that had even some some even had like most engagement more engagement than this but this is the one that just landed at the right time when i needed when i needed the the attention rather so at that time i was still i was still homeless right so i was still homeless um there was a lady at, 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 at my church that had asked me to look after her house because she was trying to sell the house and was not getting any buyers. And then, um, yo, so I was still doing gigs. I remember I would travel to, uh, what's this place? In, uh, in Mabupani, there was a casino called Merupa Casino. Not Merupa, uh, Murula San. Yes, Murula San. And I'd go there uh, as this upcoming comedian. And for, it was like five, five years ago, I think now. Um, and I'd go travel uh, to, to go perform there for 150 rands. I remember I was getting paid 150 rands uh, every week from that gig. And the taxi alone, the taxi alone was something like 80 rands to, to, to go there, uh, to go and come back. So I'd spend 80 rands and I'd have something like 70 rands. And I used to save. I've always been a huge fan of saving. So I just buy bread, the butter. I'd, I'd live like in jail with bread and butter, that's it. Um, and buy maybe send it, uh, what, my toiletries and all these things. And I wanted, I was so desperate with coming out with this talent of mine. I wanted the world to know. Um, and at that time, it was so difficult to get into TV uh, because you need to know people, you need to go to auditions. But I didn't, I, I, I hate, I hate anything that wants me to prove that I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I hate competitions. 
I hate auditions. Like, if you if you if you want me, you you come for me. You better just come straight for me. You, you there's no role that I'll ever take that will deviate from. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you want me, you must. It should be something that you have seen somewhere, and you want me to come in to wait for your storyline. I've had so many approaches um, in my career where I've been asked to come and present this. I've been asked to come and play this role uh, on on even your favorite soapies uh, or telenovelas and all these things that I play now, and I've rejected mainly because I've 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 I've, 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 I've built this idea in my head that I'm either Stop Nonsense or Jemima and then the rest can wait. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking after this house. This lady uh, uh, left me with the keys, obviously. Um, I start saving Lama 70 Randy and I'm like, I want, I want to put out this talent to the world, but TV is difficult. I've been dropping emails telling people this is, this is who I am, this is what I want to do. I think I can do one, two, three. None has responded. So I bought a camera. I remember that camera was a second hand camera that I bought for like, I think it was 300 rands. And I still had a laptop. I had a laptop. That I was that I used to go with, and I, I mean that I used to do my assignments at school, my programming assignments. I downloaded this um, video editing software. At that time, you must understand, social media was not that big in SA. Uh, a lot of people were not doing skits. A lot of people were not, you know. So I wake up this morning. I have this camera now, and I have this green cloth, and I'm like. How can I grab South Africa's attention? Like, how do I shift people from whatever that they are doing to them focusing on this boy? And I said, I need to shoot a clip. But it needs to be convincing. It needs to convince people. Because understand one thing, confusion sells such as sex, how sex sells, confusion sells, because people keep talking because they're trying to find an answer. So that's how I was gonna trend. Because at that time, Twitter, nah, I don't think Twitter was even that big. This whole trending thing wasn't even, so I had to trend on people's phones, you know, like directly, like via sharing me, via PBM, WhatsApp, whatever. And I'm like, but the killer part would be, coming up with a story that people need to be convinced with is is this real or not and i thought of kumbule kai i'm like who's who's the most popular guy currently or wealthiest guy that when i claim people will it wouldn't take it's it's not like a businessman from MLAZ or whoever, I should just go for someone that everyone knows. Because if it's a businessman from or sent or wherever, it's going to be difficult for it to trend. Because first of all, they don't know the person. They don't know what he... Uh, I mean, it's it's just, an, it's not an easy story to sell. So let me go for Muzepe. And then I went for Muzepe. And I knew people would be like, oh, such a such a uh, a powerful man uh, this guy is out here doing charity things but does can't even send his son j it doesn't rain and that's when i was like ah let me kill the story now and you and do look now, alike i must say you look alike yeah <laughs> thank you i think that as a compliment uh so and then I'm like, okay, fine, I've got this camera. Now I just need to know how to edit the background and make it seem as if I'm in studio. And then I went on YouTube, checked. Ah, and then I knew, okay, this I'm gonna edit this. Then I shot it. Then there I was indirectly being funny 
uh, I knew even if you don't believe it, but you'd be like, you know what? Yeah, this is very really funny because of my concerns. I'm not worried about all these other things. I, I, I'm indirectly asking for money, but I'm full of champions because, you know, I don't want to be all too obvious with you, you know? And, and, and then the video, okay, I answer edited, learned how to do the subtitles, the writings. Oh, drop the video. Uh, on, I think, if I remember very well, it was on a Wednesday. Thursday went. Friday, just one day apart. Friday, I am getting a call. It's a journalist from Daily Sun. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, are you really Petrus Mutsuba's son? Uh, how, what, 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 oh, now I'm stuck in. Do I carry out the lie? Do I, or, or do I? But if I, but, but if I, I, I didn't carry it out, it would have been a, okay, whatever. It was one of those. So I carried out the lie. Yes, I am Petrus' son. Really? Yes. You but that's the, the only information that I have. All I know is that my dad is Petrus. His name is Mutsipe. And then I'm just, I just want to meet him. Oh, really? Hey, daily sign, article, out. There's this sign, Petrus Mutsip. Saturday, I wake up. Now, you know, the most weirdest thing, I go onto my Facebook page. The numbers, the following, they, they just like, a log of comeback. It will say 99 plus, people are following you, 99 plus. I'm like, what? And I check the likes. Yeah, it's too much. Only to find out the video was taken and it was played on SABC One on Sunday Inside at that morning. Yeah, people are now. And people are convinced this Petrus son. Like, I'm telling you, like, even when I was at that time, like, I, I probably, I was going to be at that time. Because even the DMs, like, girls yeah, wanting to meet you. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, is your dad really, really? Hey, here's my WhatsApp numbers. Here's my BBM pin. Here's what, what, what. I'm like, oh my gosh. Did I just open a can of worms that I wasn't even ready for? So, oh. I, after then, like, I'm being for real. Like, I started having TV interviews back to back, uh, magazine features, this and that, this and that. And slowly I was easing up on the lie. Just letting people, oh no, no, it was just this, it was a stunt, yes. Because I didn't, I didn't want to come across also as, oh, I'm just I'm just running off with the idea. You would okay, my dad is Petrus Mutsepe, right? Okay, cool. But I yes, a lot of people are convinced, but I want to ride on his wave on what he's achieved to become, you know what I'm saying? So it's just slowly easing off that wave. But maintaining the humor on, 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 this is me now. Listen, guys, let's talk about the funny now. This is, this is that, you know what I'm saying? So that emerged quite faster than my, 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 my life on stage. You know what I'm saying? The brand, I mean, be on, on social, I became bigger than I was on stage. So. But I, I've always wanted to call people and say, hey, listen, this is where I'm actually funny when I have the mic in my hand. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, then it, it just happened like that. Overnight, I don't know, then I started getting gigs and I started performing now. I started getting recognition also in the clubs, you know, for the club gigs and all these things. And other comedians that were already running shows were able to now book me now because the, the word was out. Petrus Mutsipa's son. And you'd be bringing that audience. Yes. People oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I was bringing audiences and, and, and you know, and, and, and I got the confidence also to, to start running my own club gigs. You know what I'm mm. saying? Because for the longest of time, I, I used to be like the only person on the, on the poster. Like I'd just be the only person on the poster doing a club here. I'll have a club here, you know, Gather those scents uh, all around. I, I didn't even bother having like your open spots, which also challenged me to being creative and thinking on the spot and coming up with new material all the time. Mm -hmm. So it it that's that's how that clip changed my life. Well done on that. That's very good. Thank you very then, much. 
We also know you as a character of Jumaima. Hey friends, it's your girl Julia aka okay, Jumaima, the number one gossip diva. Guys, it's day five of the 21 days of lockdown. Guys, ever since the lockdown, as many gender link, I'm trust issues. Every two minutes, we are checking. Hi, Jumaima, what are you doing? Can I see you with the table? When you look around, you are going to set up and get off. As you want to check, you have to have been a kidney work. It is a dirty. I'm going to go to the one and I'm going to go to the one and I'm going to go to the one and I'm going to go Yes. Ma, is that me? <laughs> How was the character of Jemima born? Uh, that one is simple. Uh, it does not have a lot of uh, entities to it. Um, I just, as a comedian, number one. As a comedian, yes, everything is, is all jokes and all these things. Your life revolves around that. But you are not a joke that we know. Um. There are certain things which I stand for as a brand, as stop nonsense, that I would, I would, I would comfortably say on stage. Uh, yes, comedians are known as people that don't really give a damn. Uh, there, 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 are things that I mean, we 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 appear as people that would say things and walk away with them, you know, get away with crime. But there are certain things that I feel like morally I, I would be incorrect. You know, you know, <laughs> uh, there are certain things that I wouldn't be comfortable with saying as who stop nonsense as the stand-up comedian. So I had to come up with a character that would confuse people a lot of people still they they don't understand am i straight am i you know out of which i'm okay with that i'm not one to explain anything to anyone um uh, but i needed to come up with a character that that will that will say uh, that will tap on women issues mm. comfortably as a woman Jumama is a woman it's not a transgender or no Jumama is a woman but also but thinking also, like a man i think like a man but then i reason like a woman you know what i'm saying so even if you were to throw a bullet or a bomb who do you attack are you attacking me or are you questioning me as who stop nonsense or are you speaking to Jemima? You know what I'm saying? So I, I would dive and dive in between criticism and all these things, and which has always been a fun game for me. Because I'm like, ah, yeah, but I'm by nobles with Jemima. Don't ask me. When you see Jemima, when you get to meet Jemima one day, please ask her. She will tell you. And she's not apologetic. She will say it like it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a Ujumaima has become a brand yeah, on her own. And also, I wanted to ask you, because when we talk about comedy, people just think it's all fun. They never think of the educational element. They never think of um, the, the part where comedy is not a joke. Uh, we did a show that was uh, organized by you, uh, Funny Money. Yay! We taught around the country. And it was supposed, like, guys, we should be making money right now. We were supposed to be making money because the tour is supposed to still be going on. So lockdown has locked our wallets, shame. It, 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 it's Mulel. So what was the concept behind uh, Funny Money and working with such a big uh, institution as Old Mutual? And also, you see, with so many comedians, why did you choose us? Why were we chosen? Okay. Oh, you unmuted my mic. Okay. There you go. Uh, the concept uh, around m money, money, money is a serious issue. Money affects us all. Doesn't matter. Rich, poor, hey, famous, uh, known, whatever. You, it affects us and it's a serious issue. And when we're dealing with serious matters, what better way to bring them 
in in a in digestible manner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when we talk about ecology, when we talk about Abu Mashonisa, when we talk about loans and all these all these other depressing factors that uh, that revolve around money, uh, we are all sunk. We relate to them. It doesn't matter. Some it's a small scale. Some it's a bigger scale. But they are depressing. Um, and we need to be educated around that. You know, sometimes it's not because we are not making enough money, but how we are budgeting around our money, the, how we are planning around our money is very poor, which results to us being broke. So if you, if, if, if we were to teach on such sensitive, I mean, sensitive issues, uh, we, we, we need to have a giggle every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? We need to save it. It might be a hot dish, but served on a colder platter, you know, um, so so that it's digestible, you know. So I we I I wrote the the concept and then uh, sent it through to Old Mutual, and which they they were happy to enhance the idea, uh, whereby we will just travel the 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 world, um, teaching about you know that we had plans in place whereby we also wanted to take it around the, the continent uh, in the future, uh, which it's not a dead dream. It's still going to happen. It's just that not at that anticipated time. Uh, so they accepted the idea. They wanted to be on board and also bring in their professional team to, to come in, um, administrate, you know, and come in also teach about these finances. Um, you know, people that are accredited to do that. Uh, and then I, I, I went back and I thought of uh, a lineup, you know, uh, that I would be working with on that concept of teaching around money. And obviously the selection process was easy and also not easy, uh, mainly because it was easy to, to come up with names because I know the people that are much more comfortable with working with in the industry um, and then it was not easy, uh, by the sense that, uh, the very same people that I'm comfortable with working with, are they, do they understand the vision? Do they understand, you know, because these are the people that are not, um, they're not scripted, you know, although the show on its own was not scripted at all. But would they be able to drive out the message? Would we actually get to achieve the the objective? You know, the mandate of the day. Um, so I, I I I had to. I mean, there's no show that I that I can ever do without Tenjiwe and Samari. Those are those are my my darlings. My my, you know, there's no there's never ever 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 a show that I've had without you guys. Um, mainly because uh, the, the people that you became with me, you know what I'm saying? You guys know me from ground zero. Like if, 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 if there's ever a chapter in my life or, or a documentary that's going to be there about my life, you guys would have more than 10 scenes where you just have to talk about me. You know me. So with with you guys selecting you guys, it was it it, it it it's it's there. Your names are in all the boardrooms that I enter, um, and then uh, I had to also diversify. You know what I'm saying? I had to bring in the 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 different languages also. You know, uh, I mean, if it's you, Samari, and I, it's it, it rotates around Zulu, Sotho, and Tswana. You know what I'm saying? And then I had to bring in a bit of Kosa. That's when I went for Kanisa, who's a very smart uh, uh, individual uh, with her teacher background. You know, she she brought a different feel to it also. Um, I needed to bring in someone that, that that just has lockdown experience, you know, with things. I had to bring in Smoking Yembe to come in and take us through those uh, experiences of money. How how is money, um, uh, Latin? How how is money oxygen? How are you guys breathing money? 
how you guys, uh, I mean, there's a lot of cases, people gamble, there's China, there's all these things. We just wanted to be taken through that whole experience as a Kasi, being a Kasi, knowing how do you manage your finances? But, and, and also, most importantly, what are the funny factors behind Iman, Yekas, on Bayabulala, you know, and and the reasoning, it's not it's not the actual, uh, it's not the actual a deed like of death that is funny but how would how, how how are we able to love through the pain you know considering good okay listen this is money was actually the root of evil on that night yes it's painful or whatever but how are we able to love through it you know um and then also people that have a bit of influence you know uh uh online you know like your sister age and whatever they've got a certain feel around the tsonga tradition and all this and that you know we had to bring her on also and i know you know she's she, she's got a couple of pointers that she's always raised in her sets uh being a mother of of two kids and having a story you know to tell around finances how how she's managing with being a freelancer and now she has to provide for her and she's got also siblings that are also in the same industry so if there's no bread there's no bread for everyone and but how is she managing to save to budget you know to charge her debts and all these things so yeah it had to be that and now also in every uh, in every province that we went to we had to also t encounter and also give platform you know to 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 the locals you know so every every area that we went to we had a, a resident or we had a local comedian that we empowered not just financially but also to give them a platform to 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 also express their talent on a larger scale this was one of the best shows we ever did guys but it was so funny because a lot of people thought it was a joke yeah uh, yeah, With it was big arenas, <laughs> very big arena, but tickets were 10 rands. Yeah, so that's what made people think it was a joke. People would buy tickets and still bring cash, thinking, uh -uh, when we get here, they're gonna want us to pay. <laughs> people didn't believe the 10 rand thing, yeah, it was a bit tricky because. Yeah, people, people, people never thought. I mean, wow, wow, like really, because it was you a hot. Have a whole, you have you have a whole tent. You wear summary, sister age, can you sabunu and stop nonsense? This is like an all star lineup for ten rand. Yeah, for ten rands, and they're like, I know we did not believe. And like the numbers actually came in even after they were like, Yo, we had you guys were here, and like, yeah, but we told you, mm, and you know, just we just believe it. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so so um, what do you call? Uh, people 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 were still were still not eased up with that because they know how expensive comedy can become, you know, uh, mm. because of what the, the amount of work, the value, how we actually rated this because of the value that we have invested, you know, into but into the that we were already we were already booked. So when we come yeah. back. What other concepts should people expect so that when they see those ten rand posters, they know who the as the value we are working? It it it, it, it doesn't change uh, at all. I don't wanna I don't wanna lie. <laughs> it still is the same principle of us getting. Maybe now we 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 are going to be uncensoring a certain things, but we are going in depth with the monies, especially uh now 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 we all have the, the experience of a universal experience of you know the fear now of not having your next break ever since the pandemic now we know now we are sharing a common crowd whereby whether you are rich whether you are poor whether you got money whether you're broke but you know good thing, you are not guaranteed your next break so it's it's we, we are taking it to a bigger a bigger scale i'm hoping that we can actually do a stadium uh you know with with the proper marketing and 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 it would it would actually come in maybe not 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 in the coming year because of we still have the phobia 
Yeah. Uh, but in I, think future, really- I wanna take it to 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 a larger extent whereby we reach out. I mean churches, societies, stock fells, all these, you know, just educating people to 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 I mean be wise around their money. And people got got their lessons. People got money lessons. They laughed, but they laughed their way to a, to better spending because we were questioning a lot of things that we do as black people in terms of yeah. spending money. Like the, yeah. the amount of money we spend on funerals, that's a topic on its own. But the, the, the issues we addressed, guys, they were very serious and they were very, very important issues. So I hope mm. those who attend the shows uh, are doing better during lockdown because they got their lesson. And we were planning yeah. to say, yeah, I mean, now this thing happened. We could have, ah. Let me yeah, man, I mean, we, 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 with black people, especially, you know, you, you just raised another important point. When it comes to funerals, I, for one, I come from a family that has uh, a funeral parlor, right? And 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 you look at the extents that people uh, go through to make a funeral an event of note. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we, we don't even come close as a black society uh, to the Muslim uh, nation or whatever when it comes to money. These people have more money. They, they carry out our, corner, our economy with both their hands. But look at their funerals. You die today, we bury you today. We don't want... So people will be notified that you passed on. We no, don't. no, KG. I've got a, I've got that shop. But some guy, well, oh, that's rude of me to say some guy. I've got a friend who owns the funeral parlor, and I'm gonna be doing. I think it's Wednesday, not Wednesday, Thursday. I'm doing a show. Yeah. With, uh, we're doing uh, funerals during during lockdown. What's happening with the 50 people and all that, and whether we should just continue with this new uh, less people at funerals and. Uh, save money on food and buses and everything else that we do as black people. So he's going to be coming next Thursday. We're going to be doing that. And also I want to address to people um, the issue of your homelessness. I'm ignoring it uh, on purpose because also very soon I'm going to be doing a show on people who used to be homeless, reasons for people being homeless. Because I want people to start respecting those people that we pass on the streets to know that they are humans too. And not all of them were homeless because of drug use. So I'm going to be having a, a few people that used to be homeless addressing the nation about the issues that caused them to be homeless so that you can empathize with them and see. Because I worry about them, especially at a time like this. Winter is coming at home. We'll government is giving money have they thought of buying blankets for those people not also engage like proper blankets have they thought of uh, providing because some of them only eat because they are sleeping outside but next to restaurants where they go and get the food that's getting thrown away with the businesses being closed it, it, it's it, it, it just it's so bad it, it's so bad i mean i'm very big on uh we, we have a, an organization where we give sanitary pads to homeless people because i believe just because you are homeless doesn't stop you from being a woman you still have that time of the month you still go through those few days a month where you are a woman and you are bleeding so nobody ever thinks of them in 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 that sense so i I, we will address the issue of your homelessness then that's why i'm ignoring it today so people mustn't think i'm just um ignoring it all right no cool yeah i'm 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 calm me in calm me in calm me in Look, I'm, I'm just I'm just enjoying this thing, cause cause I knew I have a, I had a I actually have a what you call an, an interview with you, and I'm like let me let me buy this thing. So I bought this cool light thingy. What's oh, that thing on that? The, the, the ring light, yes. Because yes. I, I wanted you to see me. <laughs> and it, it it is showing you properly. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. And also, people uh, have been getting a lot, and I'm sure you get the same. A lot of questions about when are we shooting again? Uh, I, I, I one have to be okay. I'll take the blame. 
from my side now you need to uh, oh, that you blame we, we are so long overdue uh but also it's all because of uh the, the hard work that we are putting in you know what i'm saying we are busy uh we are doing a lot of other things you know what i'm saying but one thing that i do know for sure is that we all we just need is just one day or two days to come up with 20 episodes that we are going to give people throughout so as soon as lockdown guys uh once it's lifted once my sister over there can be able to travel i i'll be, I'll be waiting we uh, got oh, we got oh, it wants to know what our cup has it has water very like it's water I mean, where i am we can buy alcohol so i'm not stressed about alcohol i can drink if i want but i'm just drinking water Wow. Just, and <laughs> there are so many things I could ask you, but then it would be until tomorrow because I want to also ask about your TV roles that you've played. So I'm just going to ask about uh, two of them. Hey, let me not ask that. What's been the favorite role that you've played on TV? Has to be uh, ooh, the. the the, the justice one was challenging, eh? <laughs> it was challenging because it is it is something that I never thought, but it came out beautiful. I enjoyed it's beautiful. it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. No. I never oh. found that you're just going to be biased. Justice is a character that Ustok Nantans plays on Meet the Kambulis. Let's not count that if it's going to be biased. And no, but like it is. But, but it is. Though, no, I'm not going to allow you to do that. I'm not even buying any face. Like, I'm being honest. Like, there was... That was my favorite. I enjoyed it. It challenged, especially when I when I got to view it. Not 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 when I was shooting it. When I got to view it, I was like, oh damn, this was actually nice. I wish I could have. I, I if I wasn't that busy at that time, then I could have yeah. did more 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 episodes. We're gonna do like more. Have, yeah, I would love we're doing, to. We're doing season two. We're about to Ooh, start. We're not doing it for a channel. That's a story for another day. So we're gonna do it for ourselves because you know what happens in this in the yeah, screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Anytime, anytime. That I, 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 I take it on any given day. I enjoyed it, and then it has to be also on single guys when I played SK on SABC. That was very good. That was very good. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that also. Uh, I, I, I just love roles that I'm not, I'm not entirely and scripted. flexible as well because I could tell. Yeah. Is now stop nonsense coming out. Yes, I don't like roles where I I'm I'm told how to do one two three. Yes, I I'll stick to the script, but allow me to 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 be seen through the character. And you know that's the beauty of being a comedian, uh, a stand-up comedian especially, yeah. because you are everything. You are own producer. You are your own wardrobe mistress. You are your own writer. You are your own performer. Whereas some people yes. will act in a funny movie or a funny series, and then suddenly they think they can do stand-up comedy. But as an actress, your job is to read the funny that someone else has written. That's why so many of them fail when they come on stage and realize that, oops, I have to be funny. I don't have to now read the writer's funny lines. I, I don't know how many times have I tried to stress that. And I'm like, uh, you can never, ever, ever, ever compare the two. You can never, ever gauge the two mm -mm. when it comes to... Uh, an actor is an actor. An actor cannot be a comedian. A comedian can be an actor. A, a, a comedian is an actor. From but the wet go. a comedian. Yes, you, we, do you, comedy, you, we do other characters you, on stage as well. We're doing other characters as we yes, see you, you, you can you can you can take Will Smith and make him anything. You can take Steve Harvey, you can take Kevin Hart and do you know what I'm saying? But you can never ever ever wake up on any given day and say, Oh, um, let's take Charlize Theron and put her on stage. You can't, you can't. It's impossible. Yes, they might go and perform. Okay, let us prove <laughs> how good you are as a comedian, because comedians are good with improv. So now I'm about to test you. Wow, These I hate those. Seen before. I hate those. 
It is called things that you would never say. So I need you to quickly tell me things a pastor would never say. Damn it. <laughs> a pastor would say damn it. Things you will never say in court. That I'm guilty. What if you are guilty? I still deny. <laughs> That's the thing. I still deny. Things that a prostitute would never say. Usuti. <laughs> For those who don't understand Zulu, Usuti means have you had enough? Are you full? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. When the time is up, it's up. Get off. One thing you would never say to a customer. Ooh, one thing I'd never say to a customer. Mm. Uh, how much do you think this is? <laughs> Things you should never say in a relationship. I, ca I can't live without you. But you should say that. No, it's a lie. Things you should never say in a job interview. Things you should never say in an interview. Mm. Uh, in a job interview that I don't have a car. Oops. Things you should never say to a president. Things you should never say to a president. Um, oh. Uh, things you should never say to our president. Any president. Oh, okay. Uh, things you should never say to a president. As Ilana, I'm just trying to put it in words. That's why things you should never say to a president is. Wow. 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 No, that's difficult, actually. <laughs> things you should never say to a dead body. Oof, yo, I almost, I almost became personal. So, uh, never say to a dead body. Mm. 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 Oh, okay, it's fine. Things you never, sh you should never say to a dead body is, um, I wish I could, <laughs> could have. Things you should never say to a pregnant woman. <laughs> You're gaining weight. Things you should never say to a COVID positive person. Things I shouldn't say to a COVID. Cough. Eh? <laughs> Cough. <laughs> you are mean. Or six. Six. You, you, you. You are really mean. Where can people follow you? No, I, I've got too many followers. Guys, please people... don't follow me at Stop Nonsense Everywhere. At Stop Nonsense Everywhere. And yeah, also, you the link to uh, Stop Nonsense's uh, YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to his channel. And please encourage him to do more stuff. Because it's very lazy when it comes to this uh, YouTube thing. I've got so many stuff I just lazy to upload. Like how many? Like... I know. Because you shoot every day. Every day you've got new content. So here is uh, Do Me Stop Nonsense. Please do uh, follow him on YouTube. As of Monday, I'm, 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 I'm uploading an episode. I'm uploading a clip every day on, 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 on YouTube. That's all, okay, guys. That's what we want. That is what we are looking for. And uh, last uh, message you can leave us with, especially in regard to what we are currently going through in terms of the COVID-19 and lockdown. Uh, my message would be, um, don't look at this pandemic as, as a delay. Uh, take it as a reset button, like I said. Um, 
teach yourself new habits. Uh, if you haven't grabbed a book in a while, take one, have a good read. Um, learn certain things. I started, I started off the lockdown with painting the house, doing the DIYs, you know, I went to go buy paint, DIYs, I mounted the TVs on the walls. You know, I started learning how to cook mkhodu. I never knew how to do that. I had to Google, you know, how to cook it the traditional way. Now I can now. Um, I've, 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 I've got enough time now to stop making excuses. Um, I call people that, that are close by, that are close to my heart. I communicate better now. Um, I respond to unanswered WhatsApp texts. You have had, I, I think when the lockdown, before the lockdown, I had like a thousand something. Now I'm on 600 and something and read. That's it. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm attending to that. And some people, it's just a simple, oh, I'm just checking on you. Oh, hey, this and that. But we never ever prioritize uh, their texts because at that time they don't make sense. They, they, it's just one of those unnecessary conversations that you thought, but maybe they just needed to hear from you and it would have kept them going, you know? Um, yeah. Our finances also, I we'll still go back to that. You know, it's, uh, I've, I've, I've learned now to drop a budget, a proper budget, like now in details, like I wouldn't say, oh, 2000 that's for entertainment. Doesn't that for, doesn't that, no. Now they're in detail, you know? Now I, I was, I can't even, like, guys, I'm aware. I need to, you know, I'm, 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 I'm aware of these smaller things. So take time also to, to check on your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm an all around Christian. But um, whatever works for you, whatever whatever you believe in, you know, keep at it. Uh, if praying more means you should pray, then do that. If if burning incense makes takes you there where you need to be spiritually, do that. Um, it doesn't matter how wherever you're praying, but pray. It prayer changes things. It changes situations. Um, I resort to it a lot when, when in, in times like these, you know, uh, it doesn't mean that I don't pray when, when everything is going well, but in times like this, that's why I'm highly reminded of who my creator is. Uh, let's keep praying. Let's, let's check on even our okay doing friends, those that are saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. Insist, right? Insist on checking on them because hey, those I'm fines might just be and I'm fine just so you get out of my face. But That's keep on, good. yeah, checking checking on them. Though if you've got extra, please do share. Please do share all those. Uh, even Don't undermine even leftovers. There's someone at the robot that needs them. Just package them nicely. So take them, give it to them. If you've got something that might just reach its best before date or whatever, because we've got so much, so many things that we, we, we take for granted. Just because you don't value it, it doesn't mean that the next person will not value it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Don't be afraid, because a lot of people don't understand the term. Some people, best before means it was, it, it, it's best, it's at its best state, state before, it, it hasn't expired. So a lot of people, they just throw away things because they're like, ah, Say it best before I'm gonna know it hasn't expired. It's gonna reach its expiry date. But while you can still while while it's still edible, while it's still healthy to take, you please do share also. You understand? And if you if there's a sale, we are a it's a buy what and get what free. You feel like you might not need, you only need one, just take. Even your clothing, guys. We are stuck with things that we don't wear anymore. We are stuck with so many. I, I, I realized, I realized out of my whole wardrobe, like I'm sure the clothes that I don't even wear, I can even dress up up to 15 individuals. So I've, I'm taking 
things I've been cleaning out my my car, the boots, they are just wardrobes. I'm I'm every chance if I find someone on the road that has body size as mine, I just hand out, you know, and <laughs> let's just carry on. Let's check on each other. Gone are those days whereby we 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 we, we still have useless pride it's what i call it the pride of Utu or something and if you're also going through the most don't be afraid to say hey i need one two three maybe what you need is what i don't value you know what i'm saying so speak out because no one will come knocking at you to and say oh here's one two three speak out because we are in it together we need to fight it thank you very much Yo, I why 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 uh, guys to speak out this is not an individual problem. This is a world problem. This is an international problem. It's not just you that's going through this. We are all in it together. Check on your people, check on your friends, check on your strong friends, check on the breadwinners of the family. Are they okay? Because sometimes they pretend to be okay. Let us use yeah. this time to care and to be loving. And it's it, it's so difficult. It, 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 I don't know, even know what to say. It, it is yeah. so hard. What do you say to a young person who wants to be where stop nonsense is? Who wants to be a stand-up comedian in the future? Uh, be, what what? One thing that I, 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 the industry is not fair. It's not fair. So is life. Life is not fair to anyone. It's what you do with what is being thrown at you. That will always see you through, right? If you want to be in the industry that I'm in, or you want to do anything in life, uh, have a, be, be a rake. I don't know if, you guys know a rake. It's a rake. Yeah, a rake. Yeah, a rake. You know what is a rake? It's that thing that most of the after mowing the lawn or after you 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 rake with it, right? Yes. Be be have have a character a character of a rake. A rake is like this. It has spaces in between. So it pulls what matters and lives off what doesn't what doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, think of what you want and decide on what you want. You can either be an artist, you can be a business artist. You know what I'm saying? Uh, being famous doesn't pay bills. Being popular doesn't pay bills. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all have experiences in life. We all have situations that we want to as, uh, escape. But unfortunately, you can only escape them through money. And we need money. You know what I'm saying? So uh, once you've decided what well, is it that you want to do, you, 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 you become a rake. You pull what's important. You take, don't be open to advices. Take criticism. Take whatever. But what doesn't work for you doesn't mean what works for to me will work for you so you take you only take what's valuable and you leave all the nonsense behind right close your ears don't let anyone have a conclusion about your life because it's not over until god says it's over so you focus on that you do whatever you gotta do wherever where people don't see the possibility that where you are most likely to get your diamond because what's going to sell you is what's different from stop nonsense to you thank you very much stop nonsense thank you thank you so much uh we really appreciate having Shout out you to Sipo. he's been so active uh on on the on the on the on the comments he has. Shout, shout out, out, to out you, brother. And, and all and the other people have been seeing the, the comments sorry thank you so much guys and uh thank you so much stop nonsense very wise words people always thought Stop nonsense, you ask Excel and Jekyll. I'm sure a lot of people learned the serious side of you. But the comedy is not a joke. Comedy is yeah. not a joke. And who do yeah. I invoice for, for the data? Ishtad, Ishtad. <laughs> <laughs>
get it. Yeah, Thank you very much, my angel. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for being the person that you are. Thanks for more than anything for always being a bigger sis to me. Uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate your presence, your persistence, your 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 drive. You always challenge me. How you always keep up your discipline. It, it challenges me so much. Uh, we don't. You don't say a lot. You're a person that does a lot and not say a lot. So I appreciate you and thank you very much. Thanks for always keeping the South African flag up. Hi there, wherever you are. We love you so much. And if they don't tell you this enough, if Jack doesn't tell you this much, if Missy doesn't tell you this much, I'm telling you, honey, we love you so much. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. And then please promise us right here, right now, that you will be rejoining us when we do the homeless issue. Yeah. I'm definitely guys i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be i'm gonna be with y'all it's gonna be nice uh how how many people does this app take uh can take up to six. Oh, that's that's awesome it's, then it's, yeah I'm okay gonna be one of those. thank you so much good night yeah.